Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to talk about how easy it is to make a super simple mistake when designing PCBs and then when you get your boards back, things aren't what you expected. If you're interested in learning more about PCBWay and the way PCBs are built, go to the video section on the PCBWay website or you can see lots of things like the pick and place machines, smart shelves. Here's a video showing you their whole surface mount technology production system. So check it out, PCB way. Hey, what's happening guys? Ever since I built those two tube amplifiers last year, I've been pretty interested in learning more about vacuum tubes, or as they say in England, valves. They are valves. They're a valve that controls the flow of electrons, so that's a, that's a valid name for them. But I have been interested in learning more about them and experimenting with them. So I put together a little PCB. I was born in 1969, which was, you know, towards the beginning of the transistor era, but it was definitely the transistor era. We did have a vacuum tube television until about 1975, and my great-grandfather had a vacuum tube radio. But other than that, everything was solid state, as they call it. So I want to learn about more of these. I'm no expert in vacuum tubes, but we can certainly experiment. So I designed this little board here for uh, three 12AX7s and three 6L6G6s because those are the tubes that I'm used to. So here's the data sheet for the 12AX7. This is a twin triode tube, which means it's basically two tubes in one. And this is generally used in your preamps. So you can read through this and you can find the information you need. Plate voltage, minimum of 100 volts, grid voltage, negative one volt. You have an amplification factor of 100 times, plate resistance of 80,000, transconductance of 1250, and a plate current of a half a milliamp. We have a pinout and some more information. So that is the 12AX7. It's a preamp tube. Some amps have two of them. Some have more. And uh, I'll explain later on why. But it just has to do with gain stages. Next up is the 6L6GC tube. This is your um, power amp tube. It is a beam power pentode. And there we can see it's uh, particulars. So we definitely need this information in order to experiment with these tubes so we don't burn them up because that can happen very easily. All right, back to our schematic here. And if we zoom in, you can take a look at one of the 6L6s. I think this is a 6L6. Or is this a 12AX7? 12AX7 is the little one. It has 9 pins. Tell me, does this have 8? That's the power tube. One moment, please. Alright, so here's a look at our 6L6. Or, Jeez, Paul. 12AX7. So we have nine pins, we have two triodes, we have a heater, cathode, and they're just taking out the headers. And it is the exact same thing. Tech Nabbit. With our 6L6GCs. They're just brought out the headers. That's all I'm doing. All right, so here's our board, and you are actually looking at the version 2 of this board. Remember I said there was a problem with the hole size in version 1, so I ended up having to correct that. The original plated through holes were 2 millimeter, and my sockets wouldn't fit. So they had to be changed to three on that one. I'm going to change these two. 
those were changed to two they must have been like one so that's on me I did that not PCB way they didn't mess up the boards I messed them up because I didn't pay enough attention when I was looking for a footprint I just saw you know this and this I even think about whole size because what I searched for was PCB mount vacuum tube sockets so I assume they would have standard you know PCB size pins coming out but they don't they have huge stinking pins <laughs> all right there's the 3d view you're actually getting a preview as you can see here this is version 1.5 All right, let's take a look at the actual boards now. Enough talking on the computer. So here are the boards. They look great. But those holes are too doggone small. Um, here are the 12AX7. That's certainly not going to work. Then I have two different kinds of uh, 6L6 sockets. These ones I can't even solder to. Like I'm some kind of a idiot here or something. So I managed to kludge this together. I just did one of them. I just want to make sure that the circuitry is good. You know, before I order the second set. And you can see what I had to do. I tinned all of these and then I tinned the socket pins let me get some light now focus there we go and I joined them like that is it good no is it good enough to check the board to make sure that my circuitry is correct yes at least I think so we're gonna find out right now we got the meter here. It is in continuity mode. You guys can hear that. So we're going to test continuity on these. Um, let's start with the big one, the 6L6. Where is pin 1? Come on, focus. So pin 1 is upper left, like 11 o'clock. Now you got to focus back down here. So pin 1 should be... This one or the one next to it? Or I'm not making any contact whatsoever. Like it says in the... Uh... So this is pin one. Like I said in the... Uh... I can't even think. Oh, that one's loose. That's why. Like it said in the thumbnail, it's a monkey and a football here. One moment. Okay. I'm sure you guys can see, if you look at those pins, this one right here is not contacting anything. It's loose. Bad solder job. So let's fix it. I'm pretty sure we got a connection now. Let's bring the meter back. Continuity mode. And this one. Where's it? This one. Where the hell am I not making contact? It is this one. Let me zoom out so you can see better. Nothing there. Nothing there. There we're good. There we're good. So this... 
goes to there. That's good. Let's go back. Put it here. See, that's good. That's good. Everything is good, so why are we not getting a, a signal? I'm cocking the uh, probe in there. That's pin one. There we go. Pin two. Yep. Where's pin three? Next one over. Good. I'm not going to make you watch me go through all of these. It was good. Just the one bad solder joint. So I guess the moral of this story is make sure you've got the right footprint. What I did is I designed these, then I ordered these. I should have ordered these first. That way I could have been sure of the whole sizes I needed and got everything right. This is definitely my fault. As you can see, the PCB way boards are absolutely beautiful. And uh, we'll have version 1.5 out real soon with the right size holes and we'll put a full version of this together. Hope you guys enjoyed my mistakes. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to PCBWay. That's it. I'm out. Peace.